Welcome back people. Um, I've made a few changes to the engine and now portal's actually working properly which is quite nice. Um, you might notice that the roof was slash is uh, missing and that's to do with uh, what I'm about to explain how the portal system works in the, uh, in the engine I've, I've written so far. Um, so to explain first, every floor is a region uh, and floors are connected through portals which in this case every portal or every floor I should say um, has two portals associated with it. One is the one going down and one's going up. Um, and as the camera looks towards these uh, these portals it will uh, essentially call the, the view thrust them we use uh, based on the shape of the of the portal which in this case are both like uh, rectangular shapes uh, and we use this called a frustum uh, to use the like the region which is associated with the, the portal uh, so in this case the region here is the floor below and up here is the floor above now if there are more multiple portals uh, in view for example here so here we call the frustum according to the the shape we like the the shape we look through to render the the floor below us. However, as as you can see, there's not a portal, not a rectangular shape for floor below us. So we then use the call frustum to call it again to render the floor below that, and we call it again if let's say if we look into another portal to render floor uh, beneath that again, and same going up. So here we can look probably through like seven uh, different portals. And every time we go through one of them, the frost will get like a little bit smaller every single time. And uh, this essentially saves a lot of processing power because we don't have to render anything that we can't see. So for example, if I look straight down, uh, you'll see only render like one single object, which is the floor I'm looking, staring at and not anything associated with any floors below us. Uh, similarly up, in this case, we render, well, was like next to nothing, uh, and it's due to that the floor above us, or like the, the ceiling in fact, is part of the floor above us. And we only render the floor above us if we look through this portal. So if we look away, uh, hence we don't uh, look at the at the portal, like the, the viewing frustum of the camera does not intersect with the portal and therefore we don't render the, the ceiling. But if we look, it's the only like small part of it, the ceiling is already being rendered. Now, in order to make this explicit, to actually show you what, how much we actually render, how much we actually save, I'm uh, actually going to go to wireframe mode. Uh, so as you can see here, we only render what is visible to us. So if we look up, then we don't see anything. And if we look down, similarly, we just see like empty space. That's all we uh, we see really. Um, so similarly, if you look at the staircase below, in this case, only you can see like the, the very top part. If we move close, we see like more and more is being rendered of like the floor below us, uh, and that's to do, like I said, the few uh, frostum is being uh, called according to the to the portal. Um, so the more we see, we basically the, if we basically expose up to the entire portal, then we basically see everything, if you will. And the same goes for everything above. Um, so here it can look all the way straight up to the very top of the building, but if you move a little bit sideways, um, you see that we drastically reduce the number of objects we need to, uh, need to render, uh, hence giving us a better, uh, a better frame rate and save a lot of processing power to do other more, more interesting things. Um, this is all I've uh, got so far to share with you guys. Uh, so yeah, portal system is working. It's probably like the last thing uh, I still need to, need to like, implement for this, uh, this particular engine. Um, I'm sure there's like, loads more optimizations uh, I need to make and would like to make. Uh, but for now, uh, this should be sufficient to uh, to basically create like a game. So it's not a thing I didn't show you before, but yeah. So the walls I render here are essentially uh, generated in such a way that we actually split up a wall, punch holes in them, and then this like algorithm basically split like the the remainder up into uh, triangles, which you can uh, clearly see here, which is quite nice. Um, so yeah. Anyway, this is the end of the the demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll let you guys know whenever there's like a new update uh, on the way. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!